Hey guys, it's Jess. I'm back here with another video for you. For those who haven't been to my channel, I try to do Disney content on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. The last couple of weeks has just not worked out that way with kids home for the summer and all that. But we're doing our best. <laughs> so today is Tuesday, so the video I normally would have posted on Monday I'm doing today, but that's okay. So today I have a Bippity Boppity box to unbox. But before we get into that, I want to talk a little bit about the company because they're kind of a cool company. They were started by a mom and two sisters and they're a subscription company where you, you get Disney merchandise. Sometimes it's small shop, sometimes it's park exclusives. Um, I think that's pretty much all that's in the boxes. Um, I love the fact that they include small shops and Etsy shops, that kind of thing. So I really wanted to try them out. I tried their pin box, which is called like the bling box, I believe, um, for the last two months. And then I decided I wanted to upgrade today. So with the bling box, you can't customize it, but with the bigger boxes, you can. So they have boxes starting at $39.99, I think it is. Um, I can't remember the name of that one. Um, but there's a $39.99 box, there's a $49.99 box, which is the box I got, um, a $59, and then I think the other one is like $120, and the $120 includes like a designer item. All the other boxes, you get as many Disney items as is in the like tens digit. <laughs> so like for the $39.99 box, you get three items. For this box, I should get four. And for the, the box that's one tier up, you'd get five, which is pretty cool. Unless you, there's an option to select um, that you're a, a quality over quantity person, which means you'd get the same value, but less items. So I, I thought I'd go over what they give you when you, you customize your box and tell you what I put in and we can decide if we thought they did a good job or not and if we got a good value and all that. So um, the first thing they ask is, if you'd like, please provide us with your Facebook, Instagram, YouTube handle. So I did that. Um, do you prefer your box to be themed based on your character preferences or would you like a mix of different character items based on your favorites? The options are yes, I love the theming, no, I would prefer a mix of different characters or surprise me. I picked surprise me because I like both. Um, they ask about your birthday because I think they do something special your birthday month, which is really nice. Um, would you like your box to include Disney Park snacks or treats? Um, I decided no on that one just because I'm trying to diet <laughs> and lose a little bit of weight. And so for right now, I decided to opt out of that and not be tempted. Um, they ask you if you say yes to give you, um, specific allergies or preferences. Um, would you like us to include any jewelry items in your box? Um, I said bracelets, earrings, and necklaces are all great. Um, from time to time, would you like your box to include Disney magic bands or magic band accessories? I said yes, that'd be great. Um, how do you feel about Marvel? Um, the options are I like Marvel characters and items or Marvel characters aren't for me, which is the option I picked. I'm not, like I like them, I'm just more into the original Disney characters, for lack of a better way to put it. Um, but they give you uh, a place to kind of include stuff about that. Um, they ask if you're sharing the box with anybody, and if so, include information about that. Um, from time to time, would you like your box to include Disney t-shirts? I said yes, please. Um, and they asked for your size. Would you like to receive small shop trading pins? And I said, sure, I love them. Um, they ask if you would like your box to include any cell phone accessories, please provide your phone details below. I decided not to include that. I'm pretty happy with what I have for my phone right now. 
Um, let us know if there are any specific ears, hats you already own so we don't send you duplicates. And I told them about my Tinkerbell ears and the pink pair of ears that I have. Um, if you already own a specific Loungefly, um, Daniel Nicole, Jim Shores collection, please let us know so we don't send you duplicates. I told them about my Loungefly um, Mickey pen purse, um, that I don't have any Jim Shores, but I'd be open to that. Um, and I gave them some examples of ones that I like, because um, they also ask if you're looking for specific ones. Um, and that's all I included there. Um, please provide any additional characters, special requests, or preferences so we can perfectly customize your box. I said I love Peter Pan, Mary Poppins, Ariel, and Belle. I also love Disney pins. I have quite a collection of Sword in the Stone pins and one mug. My husband um, proposed at the end of Robin Hood, so that movie also holds a very special place in my heart. So, and um, the last question is, do you have any specific special request items from the parks or otherwise? We will do our best to accommodate. And I said, I'd love another pair of ears. Um, would also love some Disney earrings. Just kind of as a, yeah. So that's what I've told them. So let's get into the box. So the boxes, um, I'm sure most of you know, is are really cute. They include most of the different movies and things. And it's just, I don't know, super cute. So. Let me see, I haven't even cut the tape on this, so I'll go ahead and do that. I think I got it. Yep, there we go. <laughs> so, when you open it up, here's what you see. So, this is their every month. Um, from what I can tell, they send out one of these little cards and it'll have a different thing. This feels like it's probably photo paper. And it says a very merry unboxing day to you, which is really sweet. Um, oh, then they put this in here, which I've seen these before. A quick note about your box. By selecting less items would be fine as long as the value is the same. When you, <coughs> sorry, purchase your box, you let us know that you are a quality over quantity type of subscriber. This month's box contains fewer items of higher value as opposed to more items of lesser value. Totally cool. Cute little card. Also feels like it's, it's the same paper. Um, this is the spoiler. So we'll go over that last. Now we just have this. So I will carefully open her up and see what we got. Oh, I think I see ears. <gasps> rose. I, well, okay. So I don't know if they're rose gold or, but it has a little tag that says Parky Exclusive, which is cool. Um, here, we'll just them out. But I like ears. That'll be great. Awesome. Okay. So really happy with those. Uh, the it's Peter Pan. Oh my gosh. I didn't even know they made a Peter Pan one. <laughs> but it's Lounge Fly. And there's the Lost Boys and Peter and Wendy. Oh my gosh. It's so cute. Oh, and then the inside, oh my gosh. I don't know if you can see it, but there's Peter and Wendy and the darlings going across the sky. Oh. Okay, I may be in love with this. So I'm gonna guess that that's all that's in here because that's quite a feat. <laughs> so we'll look at our spoiler. It says my ears were $27.99 and my Loungefly wallet 
was $39.99, which gives me a total value of $66.99, which considering I paid, what, $49 for this seems awesome to me. So I am, I am completely thrilled. And thank you, Bippity Boppity Boxes. This totally made my day. Both these items are awesome and fabulous. And I definitely am looking forward to my next box. So that's all I have for today. So I will see you guys again soon.